Hello crafty friends, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how I created this 10th birthday card which I made for a very arty crafty young lady. To get started I took some scraps of mixed media paper and put them on my grit mat and then I chose five very bright vibrant distress oxides and added one colour to each scrap. For this card I wanted to create a really bright rainbow effect so I've chosen picked raspberry, spiced marmalade, squeezed lemonade, cracked pistachio and salty ocean which are all beautiful bright bold colours. My overall idea was to die cut from these panels some splat shapes and stick all the different coloured splat shapes on a piece of paper and use that as a panel on the front of my card. I wasn't too bothered about getting perfect even ink coverage on my scraps because I knew I was going to cut some fairly small shapes from them so each shape would look okay even if the ink wasn't blended perfectly but also I intended to splatter some metallic paint on the inked scraps so I knew that was going to possibly create a bit of a mottled effect anyway so there was no point in really trying to get perfect ink blending. Once I finished putting down my final colour, the Salty Ocean, I took my Prima Metallic Accents paints and spattered on some pale gold. Now there was some darker gold still on the paintbrush so for the first few splatterings I've got a darkish gold and then the pale gold comes through. So I've got some nice variation in my golds there. Once they were all dry I took my splat dies and ran each piece through my Gemini Mini to create my splats. And then I sorted the splats out into piles of the same shapes because when I do something like this I like to add my largest shapes first and then my middle sized shapes and then my little shapes. That way I know I've got room on my card for the bigger shapes and I can fill in any gaps that develop with smaller shapes and it just seems to work as a way of making sure you get a really good even distribution of sizes and in this case colours as well. I wanted to have the different sizes spread out across the panel but I also wanted to get the colours spread out as well. I didn't want to have two pinks next to each other or two blues next to each other for example. I wanted the colours as I say to be nicely distributed across the whole panel. Once they were all stuck down and dried, I trimmed the panel down slightly to make it small enough to fit onto my card and also to get rid of the overhanging bits of die cuts. Next, I used some glue to stick this down on a four by six inch card blank. Once that was all stuck nicely in place I added my focal point. So I've cut a circle of vellum, it's a stitched circle and I've cut the number 10 out of gold glitter card and I used foam tape to stick the numbers onto the vellum circle and then I used my high tack glue to add glue behind the numbers on the back of the vellum and that way any adhesive is hidden because the one thing that we all know about vellum is that lots of adhesives show through so it's a good idea to try and find ways to hide the adhesive. 
I wanted my sentiment to read 10 today because sometimes I get a bit fed up of putting happy birthday on cards. I didn't have a today stamp to hand so I pulled out some alpha stamps, some peg stamps and just stamped the word on a piece of white cardstock which I then cut down using my trimmer into a small rectangle and I popped this on the number 10, well on the zero. I did think about putting it beneath the 10 but I decided I liked it better sitting on top of the numbers and that's it that's this card finished short but sweet today i do hope you've enjoyed the video and that you'll join me again soon thanks so much for watching bye for now